Hey guys, so we all know that LLMs usually hallucinate. What does that mean? Um, you know, you take a basic LLM like ChatGPT or Claude or from any other provider, right? So you ask a question, query, you can say, and the output can be sometimes it can be made up answer or it can be something uh, not that accurate. Right. Uh, so LLMs have this ability to produce nonsensical uh, outputs, which we call, you know, the hallucinating behavior of uh, these LLMs, large language models. So if you build applications using such base models, uh, they aren't of any use because uh, one or the other time uh, they are going to produce uh, these uh, nonsensical outputs which is not good for your AI applications or if you're building RAG applications. So that is where we need to, um, we need to get, uh, we need to make sure the LLM, uh, LLMs that we're using in our AI applications are of good quality and they produce accurate results, proper results. So how do we do that? There are basically three approaches. One is retrieval augmented generation. Second one is fine tuning. And the third one is uh, what we call prompt engineering, right? So today we are talking about fine tuning. Uh, what is fine tuning? It's, it's basically you take a base model, as you can see in the image here, uh, you take the base model and you train that base model. How do you train that base model? You basically add your custom data you you train that base model with your custom data or uh, and the different data sets that you have the custom data sets so that the llm starts understanding your vocabulary right what if you are working in a healthcare domain uh, because the base model you are using it do it doesn't understand any of the vocabularies the terms that you are using in your um, healthcare sector so that is where you need to provide the LLM, train the LLM with your custom data set, right? And that's how it starts understanding the vocabulary. It starts understanding uh, the, the inputs so that it will get to know what outputs uh, it needs to provide. So that is the that is the thing about fine tuning. And that's how you usually fine tune uh, using base model. And uh, once you get the final model, you use it. Uh, for your RAG and EI applications.